of at this exciting video where he once again joined me in the wild landscape of Scotland. And in this adventure, I'm kind of in Angus between Forfar and Kirri Muir, and I've parked beside the old remains of what is the old Padanaram school here, which looks abandoned nowadays. But the real abandoned historical wonder we've come to look at today is actually about half a mile up the road here, and it's an old graveyard which lies at the edge of the field here. And I believe it's an old graveyard of the Fletcher family, which at one time lived at a massive castle around here, which was called Benshee Castle was the name of the castle. It took me a second there to remember because there's so many castles in this area. And in the Angus area, there was actually more than a hundred castles originally. And I believe this graveyard which lies in the field may have been related to that ancient castle, but it's cool often to go to these places that I've never been. Once you go in, you often find out little nuggets of history that you didn't even have a clue about. And because this one's in the local area that I normally explore, it's cool often just to stop and see what's there, document another bit of history. But I just noticed there is a car parked at the old school there, so it likely is still lived in as a house. Because a lot of those little local schools got converted into houses, and all the pupils that would have at one time gone there, they go to like the bigger local schools at like Kirri Muir or Forfar. Each of these little Scottish communities used to have their own schools and stuff like that, but nowadays it's so much like bigger. Each school's a lot bigger than what it used to be. So I've just been walking this freshly cut verge and I noticed there's actually a pavement which leads right down here. So I should have been walking on there the whole time and it would have been an easy walk. The landscape's just getting so green and colourful now at this time of year. All the trees are starting to flower. And adventures like this are getting harder because it's like a lot more wilderness you have to try and climb through to see the history. And I'm just hoping like today, this place is not too overgrown either. Look at the colours here with this blossom. There's a lot of that, like pinks and whites on the trees just now. Here we go folks, check this out. An ancient historical wonder that we've never seen on the channel before. And just look how fine the stone construction is here on the arch. The beautiful carved sandstone. This was probably laid at ancient times, maybe 300 years ago or more. And it's just breathtaking the length of time it can stand. It's a full dry stone construction. But the way the arch and stuff is at the entrance, it's so special to see to the landowner and the farmer and that, I come with the greatest respects so obviously. I've come into the field but I've walked the tram line here. So I don't like damaging any crops or stuff like that. But I can see the track, obviously where the sprayer and stuff goes up and down the field there. Check this out here, this is just absolutely mad to see folks. And I love exploring places like this that I've never seen. Often the wee nuggets of the history that's hidden within them are just mad. Check this out folks, look at this old stone arch that we're standing under. It's obviously built like a bridge for strength. Like the more weight of the stone pushing down on it actually helps the strength of the structure. Oh no, look, there's a sad detail here. The back walls actually started falling down, which is rather unfortunate to see because, again, it's a shame when these old structures start to decay and degrade like that because it's history generations in the future won't see. We're lucky enough that we can see the outline of this and tell the story of the Fletcher fam family from Ben Shee Castle that the land here is actually named after. This area is actually called Fletcher Field. And yeah, it's just a beautiful piece of agricultural land here in Angus. I'm not actually seeing any headstones here or anything related to burials within this. I thought there would be some like headstones or things like that. It looks like somebody's actually broken down at the top of this hill on the road I was walking up. Because I could see like they were pushing the cars, it's causing mega tailbacks and congestion at that corner. Also on the roads now, driving around, I'm seeing a lot of foreign cars and tourists. Shout out to anybody who's a BKR viewer that's actually come to these areas on holiday. It's such a special area, this 
well, the whole of Scotland really, it's just magical history hidden within incredible ancient wild landscapes on this channel. We'll do our best just to document whatever's around. Whoa, there's a bee! I'm getting out of here. Bees and wasps and flies and creatures. That's what it is at this time of year. There's literally like no graves or anything around here though. No headstones. The burials are probably within here, I would think, though. I'll go and have a look under this tree at this side. Wow, it's just crazy. I've driven past here so many times and seen it. Today, I just thought I'll come and have a look. Sometimes it's fun doing that for a short video, and it just documents something that we've no seen before, and it's like mad that there's so much constructions like this. Each estate or piece of land, they would often have their own little burial ground separate to like a public area but obviously now the families have moved away or died out things like this are just a skeleton or scar of that history from a magnificent time in Scotland for can, the lands often the things they constructed back then were so special look at this folks there's actually loads of wildlife sitting on the back of this gate Tons of slugs, uh, snails, I mean, loads and loads of these snails, like, it's just crazy to see. And there's even a, a centipede sitting there. Oh, that's a millipede. Yeah, look at the stone carving down here, folks. Look at that there. The level of detail they used to go to. And obviously, this is the finest finished part here. I'm just taking in every detail. Look at this massive old hinge which has been here. Probably had a massive wooden door on it of some sort. Let's sneak on in through here and see what we can see. Look, there is some fancy carved stones down here, but I believe this is just maybe falling off the top of the wall. These trees and things in here will just be destroying it. But again, they're no to a level yet where they are destroying it, but eventually if they fall down, and that's what can knock the brickwork and things down but yeah it's just about at that time of year where you wouldn't hardly get into a place like this for the length of the grass just now the grass is kind of like knee high but in a few weeks it can be shoulder height in the summer and like it's been raining this last couple of days or like this morning and stuff before I came it was just pure heavy rain and that's how the grass is just pure soaking I've put on the wellies. Wow! Look, folks, I can see a tack on the welly there, right there. See it running? That's it running over my welly. And this is what I was saying, right, to my viewers. Like, the places I go, it's just packed with those little blood sucking monsters. And they freak me out because I absolutely hate them. And like that's proof, there they are, like that was one. And if you see one, there'll be many more. Look, there's something else running there, there's another one. On the edge of the welly, that little black thing. This camera's not too good at zooming in to things like that, like small details, but... Like, wow, that's another reason I put the wellies on. I'm just giving myself a thorough check, a thorough check. Yeah, somebody commented saying I should wear white socks because you see them better, and that's true, I should. Like, that makes sense. It's just, the socks, unfortunately, we're wearing it. Whenever I'm out on the adventures, eh, I just... Ticks isn't the first thing I'm thinking of when I leave the house, but it totally should be, because I can see them all over my wellies and things. I really just need to get out of here. It's crazy I can take the viewers along on these adventures though, and you get a real essence of the nature in Scotland. And if somebody's not checking for ticks when they're out and about in a place like this, they really need to start, because you can see on the videos how often I look down, like, and check myself. Yeah, days like this and places like this, that is, like, tick heaven. Whoa, I'm falling over into the tick heaven. Yeah, I'm going to push on straight back the road I came. It's been another mad adventure and another mad landscape I've had to negotiate to get to it. Wow. 
often say that on the videos a lot, like wow, or it's mad, but often when you're in these places, it really is just special, because you find things that you just never knew you were going to see, or you never know what you're going to see, and that makes the adventure so special. See, the trouble is with the tick situation, folks, it's like there's a new type of tick around here, a new breed of tick, and it's only been here the last couple of years, but it, like, literally can thrive in weather and conditions where the old ticks weren't. And now, there's no just like one or two ticks when you go places like that. Like, literally, if there's one tick that you notice, there's hundreds. And it's just, the first time me and the channel DJ noticed them this year was when we were at the Vane Castle ruins. And we noticed like one, and then eventually there was just so many, and one of them had actually bitten my sock. But that was it, you could probably see it on the footage running on the welly. Often I never get them on video because I'm just too busy getting rid of them, getting them off myself. So that was one of those, I didn't know what to expect, but I was thinking there would be some graves in there. But at least now if you drive past on this pad in Arm Road here, basically between Kerrymuir and Forfar, you can get an idea of what's within those walls there and the history that it was related to back in the day with old estate owners and landowners. Each estate had its own little burial ground and quite often on adventures we come across them. I normally just document them on the way through. But it's been a fun wee video folks, it's been a short one. I'm going to go back to my car now and make sure there's no ticks on me. And I'll be back very soon with the next adventure. So tune in again soon folks.